come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> Hey, thanks for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast, the movie review and talk show podcast that comes your way every Saturday, whether you're ready for it or not. I was not ready. (laughs) (laughs) I specifically was not ready. (laughs) Uh, Well, who are the people who are talking to you? These are the internet radio superstars. Holly. Michaela. Sean. And I'm Colin. And tonight we watched the movie that was chosen by... Colin. This is your spooky season pick. Yes. What did we watch tonight? We watched, uh, well, three of us watched the, the <laughs> Mephisto Wall. No, you, yeah, say, you say three of us, so. Yeah, we're, do, we're doing an experiment. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. In the dank, dark basement. Every now and again, we do an experiment. Mm-hmm. That's right. Format change. I mean, if there's right. ever a place for experimentation, it's this basement. Right. Yeah. Exactly. So That's Sean, what all the levers are like, for. Yeah. <laughs> Sean was unable to attend the screening of the movie tonight, but he's here to record the show. <laughs> yes. Am. And so he's basically playing the part of the listener of the show, kind of, oh, except he's he here and he can actually ask all right. some informed so, all right. questions. I, I, everything run through me, audience, <laughs> trailers. I, I can feel you now. Whatever questions you may have, ask them through me. I am your conduit tonight. <laughs> you're, you're, I know a few things. You're about the psychic movie. medium lady that they tap into yes. to see the spirit realm, which is us. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. I'm that head okay. that pops up in the middle of the table yeah. in the, the Manitou. <laughs> in the, in the yeah. Manitou. Yeah. <laughs> I know um, a couple Manitou. things about this movie. Okay, okay. you know what year things. it was made? <laughs> no. It was made in 1971. Okay, 1971. Mm-hmm. That's right. Directed by. And it was directed by... Um, Quint, no, sorry, it was pretty, no. Paul Wenkos. Do we know Paul this Wincos. Paul Wenkos? You I mean the say, director of Gidget? He was, yes, he was. Uh, <laughs> so you do know something about this movie, yeah? <laughs> this is all, it's made by TV people. Yeah. Okay. Uh, maybe feels it feels like, like a TV that. movie. I was like, that yeah. makes sense. Was it the creators of MASH? Yeah. Uh, no, but the, oh. uh, the guy but who produced 71. it is. So he's not uh, that far away. This is, so it's the next year. We're gonna, oh, okay. Yeah, so Alan Alda. Is the star of this horror movie? He sure yes. is. The one year yes. before he was in Mash, mm-hmm. uh, he's Quinn the Martin star is for the... a while. Yeah, oh. yeah. What? Oh, okay. yeah. There's is also he a dog. Is there a switch? He is top build. Feels like it. Yeah. Feels uh, like it. Does he switch with Satan? There's many switches. Yeah, oh, okay. I need a red, red I string this. map for all these switches. This... It's a hot swapping movie. <laughs> oh, you make it sound more interesting. Yeah, that's that no. Oh, yeah. Um, things no, this is going to be a fun journey for us because um, we got lost along the way. Yeah, so. yeah. cool. So you, the blind you just leading found the me blind. in the woods, and you're like, "Do you want to mm-hmm. come uh, have them, uh, yeah. explain this to you?" Yeah, I mean, the blind not? leading the blind. Mm-hmm. Really? Okay. Right. really? Okay, yeah. well, don't worry, I got it. Mm-hmm. Okay, I got okay. it. I got Do it. I've you? seen it. I've seen it more than once. So yeah, I think I understand what's going on. And yeah, so 1971, right? Here's, I guess, the background of this. I'm sitting there going like, you know, we've seen Rosemary's Baby and The Exorcist and The Omen and all these satanic movies uh, from the 70s that became famous and Mm -hmm. uh, everybody has forgotten the Mephisto Waltz. You're going to find out if uh, that's warranted or not by the end of this episode. Mm -hmm. But Mm -hmm. I've forgotten it already. Witchcraft in like modern day, right? It's the idea that um, housewives are involved in witchcraft, Mm -hmm. I I guess, comes from like what? Like, well, they got to fill the day with something. Burn Witch Burn? You seen Burn Witch yeah, Burn? Yeah, I have. I liked that one. Is that one of the first? I feel like, like that's come so. up on the show several yeah. times. Yeah, it has. I have not gotten to it. Yeah, I, I enjoyed I know it. you said yeah. you watched it. You mm-hmm. liked it. Mm-hmm. Sounds yeah. old. It is, but <laughs> it, in a good way. Okay, good. Yeah, good. but it was, I mean, contemporary for the 60s or yeah. whatever, where it was like, okay, here is modern day and the devil is real. Yes. And there's, you know, witchcraft going on. I guess before uh, they okay, get imagine, like Night of the Demon. Imagine who's afraid of Virginia Woolf, but they're fighting about the wife doing witchcraft. Okay. And making other people <laughs> uncomfortable because uh, he's like, how could you like, do that? And she's like, you have all your success because I gave you all these like gifts through my witchcraft. And then he has to deal with it. So that's okay. fine. I dig that. Yeah. 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 I'm into it. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm guessing the real, like, uh, the thing that, I mean, it was Rosemary's Baby, right? Mm-hmm. The book probably, like, put this into the popular conscious, consciousness. So we and- just went through a time where we were just like, you know, it's the scariest thing. Satan is real. Well, I think in the 60s, though, like the 60s were a turbulent time, mm. especially in America. Yes. There was a lot of assassinations. And I think that was when 
America seemed to have it. It's like God is dead, right? Time magazine did mm-hmm. that, and there was that kind of uh, it lost its faith, mm. and then it was like Satan in popular culture mm-hmm. movies. I mean, exploded like mm-hmm. in the early '70s. So this is one of sometimes them. sometimes literally we've seen those movies. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. We're saying explodes. Yeah. Um. So the Mephisto waltz. Um. Mm-hmm. Is that a? That's a. Also, that's a song. It's a, it's, it's a, a song. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, a movie. Song. Yep. Okay. That's what all this I know of. It's a very music centered movie. Okay, I know there's Satan. I know there's pianists. Yes. yes. <laughs> Say it again. True. Pianists. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get that T. Pianists. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I believe I saw a dog with somebody's face. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. You did. You I did. I feel like I did. You did. You did. You saw okay. a trailer? I watched the trailer. That, oh, okay. that dog right. is like third build in this movie. That dog <laughs> plays a major part in this That's movie. That's wonderful. And there's some great dog acting. No, yes, good. they try to make a black lab look evil, I, which I, is adorable. Right, that they I did, you did post on Instagram. You're like me at every party. Yeah, yeah. They're, <laughs> they're kneeling down, petting oh, the so dog. You were following yeah. along with yeah. the. Oh, okay, the okay. Can I? Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, and and this movie, uh, I guess we already said it's like it. The guy who produced it um, did like a bunch of TV shows, and yeah. I guess like. He had a hit TV show running in every decade oh, shit. for like 50 years or something wow. like that. It was that a should be time. like a TV, like EGOT type situation. If you can have a TV show in every decade, for, yeah, yeah, you should I be able I think at to... some point there was a lifetime like achievement. A lifetime or something. achievement. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, sure. But this is the only film that he produced. So, um, yeah, we've got Al- Alan Alda, pre mash. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jacqueline Bissett, uh, mm-hmm. post bullet. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, and Pretty it nice also <laughs> Barbara Perkins, who uh, Barbara Holly, Perkins, Parkins, Parkins, Holly perked up because I Holly did. has seen. I recognized her from Valley of the Dolls. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. And uh, Kurt Jurgens perked up. I perked up. Kurt Jurgens is the bad guy, but it's before he was in The Spy Who Loved Me. He was a James mm-hmm. Bond villain in The Spy Who Loved Me. Kurt Jurgens is just, it just rolls off the tongue. What a great know. name. Right. Kurt Jurgens. Like like Kurt Jurgens. Like it <laughs> regurgitates. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it does kind of sound like Jurgens. Kurt Jurgens. Kurt Jurgens. It does kind of sound like that sound cats make before they puke. It does. Yeah. Jurgens. Yeah. 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 I think that's where Jim Carrey probably got it from. Yeah, yeah. probably. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, so the movie is about pianists. Okay. Yep. I mean, yeah. let's just keep saying. It. There's uh, really great opening credits in this. Yeah, the, the opening. Cre- yeah. It's it's cool. It's like how, it's how cool. like animated it's, stuff on it. No, it's like it's shadows like, creating like red and purple like but, kind of vaguely satanic graphics but kind of like flames yeah but there's like, like casting light it's very focused on like a hand but it's like a graphic Ooh. yeah of like an outline of a hand it's okay. cool it feels cool. very satanic i yeah, love it it's yeah. <laughs> i guess that's the other thing i was thinking it was like jerry goldsmith did the music and then yeah. later of course he did the music for the omen mm-hmm. are you seeing any like you gotta on this hire movie? this guy to well there's no like mm. satanic mass you know, no, which I guess that's no. what he did for the Omen, right? But there's there's a mm. really great thing that he does in scene transitions where there's like a very harsh, um, like violin, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and it's very quick. <laughs> no, 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 it's or, just like a, it's like a neer, neer, like it's very uh, quick, <laughs> but it, it's very cool, and it's very eerie. Yeah, yeah, eerie. Is yeah. the movie eerie? Mm. Do you want to get to that now? Or <laughs> yeah. Do you, do you mean, want to jump uh, into a the dog with a human face is very eerie as far as I'm concerned. It was it a face or a mask? It was a mask. It, was okay. a mask. it, was it looked an, like there was a little something going it on. It was a back. masquerade party for yeah. New Year's Eve. Uh, and they, the dog they put uh, a mask on the dog. Of course they did. Yeah. Okay. okay. And this is yeah. before what, what, but they do cut, before but, body snatchers. But, yeah, okay. but they do back. like very yeah. abruptly cut to that scene and what they cut to is the dog wearing the mask. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it's like yeah. you don't know what you're looking so at at right. You're just like, whoa. Right. Like, what the body fuck? Yeah. 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 It's so that is jarring. Okay. So that, yeah. I think we talked about this on maybe like our terror train episode or something. Yeah. Our masquerade parties on New Year's right. like a thing of the past that we just don't do anymore. Is this like a thing? Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Let's bring that I back. only ever see it in random horror movies right? from this I, time. I think it'd be so much fun. Yeah. We should bring that back. Yeah. Well, digital stupid a, a <laughs> digital glasses. Yeah. And you gotta like, you know, wear like animal head costumes. That elaborate <laughs> ones, like that unicorn <laughs> that, right, one was, was huge. Satanic New Year's party. <laughs> yeah. That's what this one is. 
unless well, animals mean, are satanic. I don't know. There's something like there's sheep and there's like there was uh, a unicorn. Yeah, yeah. wandering well, I mean, around. But what, yeah, but that's what they did. Like in old school, like masquerade, they would wear their fancy gowns and fancy outfits. But then yeah. they'd have some sort of mask. And back then, like the recognizable images were usually animals or right. Yeah. Like Even something. if you look back at old Halloween yeah. costumes, it's you know animals. Yeah, mm-hmm. guys, a stock of corn, and then there's mm-hmm. a creepy ass goat. <laughs> so <laughs> who? That's all. That's all there was, Holly. There's two options. <laughs> there's two options. Corn or goat. What do you want to be? <laughs> You've been corn for three years in a row. Do you want goat? <laughs> so who is Alan Alda and uh, and Jacqueline Bissett in this movie? Miles. I almost said Teller. What the fuck yeah. Name? <laughs> Miles. What's his last name? I, I can't no, remember. Me. His name is Miles, Miles. And he is a. He is a journalist. Yeah. Yeah. He's a journalist. Um, and he is. Former pianist? No. he. Well, yeah. He's, he's a journalist. He's on his way to interview this guy. Great musician. I don't know that. No, he does. Great hands. Yeah. (laughs) I'm jealous because I have have somewhat shorter stubby hands. But upon meeting this pianist, um, he's like, your hands, your hands are... Let me see the front, the back. The, have you played before? And he's like, "Well, yes, I played four years in Juilliard." And like, yeah. <laughs> this, so this is like Seinfeld. He's like, "Let me see your hand." It I thought it felt too. very Seinfeld. <laughs> I thought about George being the hand model. Yeah, it had very much had that vibe. It was great. Yeah, there's an unhealthy interest in his hands <laughs> yeah. from the, yeah. the older okay. master uh, pianist. Master yeah. pianist. So <laughs> and master um, pianist. Yeah. You, that, you get that on a business card. Can you? I, I think know. so. I don't know. I mean, this guy is like title? worshipped by Is that what Master a... P stands for? <laughs> All right, Master P. <laughs> that would be very funny if it was. But he's P worshipped by Pianist. a small cadre <laughs> of devoted followers who hang on his every move and so attend. Cadre? Uh-oh. cadre? Yeah, followers? Nice, 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 nice. That can yes. Mean. Well, I mean, okay. when you have a party, you know, when you uh, go shopping, you bring uh, all these folks. Yes, an entourage yeah, with you. Is that the code for like, hey, these people are satanic? If there's like uh, people from a broad swath of the uh, global I spectrum, I think it just means you're rich. Is that so I would yeah. go with that? Okay, but yeah. there's also, I think, like these movies also set up the idea that like if you're rich, like the way you got there is because you're practicing the dark arts. Well, I assume so. Oh, well, I mean, there's witches living in hovels. What did they like get out of? I mean, they were poor. I mean, it's like, like country, 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 to, country witch, city witch. I was like, we need, to, we need to throw it to our resident bog witch. I mean, yeah. Like, yeah. Of expertise. I mean, I, this movie reminded me at certain points of the love witch, Colin, and she very much lives a pretty nice life. Yeah. She's got a pretty nice apartment. She seems pretty rich. So, yeah. mm. yeah. well, I mean, Did she I, conjure that? Is that of her mm, own? That's not really what the movie's about. So, so I don't know. Up to, okay. The movie's that's more the about her love witching like bewitching yeah, men and then killing them yeah, yeah. Like love spells. I need to watch this movie. and then they go yeah. they go horribly wrong yeah. as they do uh, <laughs> we haven't brought that here have we hmm. no but I mean I think that's always the idea right is that mm. the witchcraft uh, does like elevate your position if, you're, if right. you're not elevating your position you're doing it wrong yeah right yeah. right I mean, um, I assume that's why I'm poor is because I'm not a witch. Not or a witch. Devil. Right. Yeah. Right. 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 Why, you know. Or devolving your position. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. Take it out, really. <laughs> also elevating your position according to you. Yeah, so exactly. It it's, it's a goal for me. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. So that yeah. is elevation. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, Elevate into this bog. So uh, <laughs> his, um, so what's the relationship with like between him and his wife? Oh, um, they are. Passion- I'm gonna, I'm, they're passionate. Okay, I, I was gonna. No, say, yeah. I, would, I would have guessed fractured, but okay, they're no, passionate. They're, they, oh, I like that. They're passionate. Um, they love, love, love each other. Oh. Secret code words that they know. Oh, love, 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 love. Didn't love, like love, that. Love. Nah. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Didn't feel good. Mm-mm. Okay. All right. Did yeah. they actually? Did they love, love, love? She in would, actuality, she'd be like love, 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 and then he'd have to say love, love, love back. That's like their. Thing. Yeah. Did he want to? Like, no, does well, just I think like, it was. Nah, nah, nah. It was. I think it was cutesy. Like okay. he would like playfully be like, "I'm not saying it," and then she, he'd say it, and they'd make out and have sex. Okay. Mm-hmm. Does yeah. Alan Alda's um, uh, wiseacreness come through in this? No. no. Or is he, he playing it straight? He has, straight. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. was watching what little personality he does. I was have, watching yeah. this thinking Alan Alda's always been an old man. Yeah. Right. Like always. Been, yeah. Like he looked young in this, but he still acted like Alan Alda. Yeah. Speaking of old men. There's an old man in this movie that says the most baffling line to me. I think the whole movie. Which one? 
Uh, he said people should be born 70 and then age backwards until they die. And then Michaela's response was, have I got a movie, movie for you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we, guys, we found the world's biggest Benjamin Button fan. Yes, so. Yeah. so why does he say that? Because he's drunk talking to uh, uh, this he's, other lady. He's, old, he's trying he's, to hit on the younger ladies. Yeah. This is Duncan he's, Eli, yeah. the, uh, the great, the uh, great pianist. pianist. Oh, yeah. this is the guy who's... Dying? He's like he brandy dying. drunk. Okay, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. So I guess we don't find that out like right away. Oh, the right. idea mm-hmm. is that like this uh Eli reaches out to Miles and says, Come and you yeah. know, do an article or something on me. Okay. Mm-hmm. Or maybe he's asked well, he, for an article he, or yeah, something. He read because he's already done an article about like other musicians. And so I think this is just like assignment. He's coming to do uh, another article about another musician because when he comes in he says yeah i read your other article it wasn't it wasn't good but it wasn't terrible yeah and- isn't this like a trope that i feel like i see a lot in movies but i can't name any right now but like where if you get invited to have the like town famous recluse like give one last story or one final yeah. interview they're gonna die or something horrible is right, gonna happen yeah. like that's why they're giving the last like but they never see it coming never right, see yeah, it coming yeah. you know yeah well, but it wouldn't and- be a story otherwise right. i guess it's like this is the story of that time that guy went to you know, talk to that recluse yeah. and look what happened when to this, him. When this feral bog witch invites the town children to come interview me, you guys should be concerned. Uh, come children, I'll yeah. tell you a tale. Yeah. <laughs> so it's at this well, uh, if I, interview. If, Michaela, if you invite children over, I assume you die. Uh, yeah, yes. right. you would never do that. Yeah, exactly. No, my first thought would be like, she's going to kill those children. Yeah. <laughs> she would not do this. <laughs> she wouldn't do it before, but now she's a bog witch. Yeah. She's exactly. definitely going to eat them. Um... Well, it, yeah, it's at this interview that uh, the the unhealthy fascination mm-hmm. with hands begins, mm-hmm. and then uh, the wealthy couple begins insinuating themselves into the lives right. of Miles mm-hmm. and his wife Take and daughter. Their, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, beautiful family. They love their beautiful family. Yeah, they've got like a they love each other year too old much. They do daughter or something like they that. Do. Yeah, all the family or the other ones? All of them. all the all of them, <laughs> but this family is doing some unsavory things that. Uh, oh, no. Wait, which we'll one? Get, we'll get into it. All not not Alden, Alan, Alden. No, his, no. Oh, the other one. The other one. Yeah, the other one. Yeah, so, Alan Alda and his wife. They have a healthy, they're fine. They have a healthy relationship with their daughter. Yeah, it's the other, the other family. family. She's an odd child. She's yeah. very like. She's very out of like a 50s sitcom. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> very kid sitcom acting. Father, yeah. you're home. And like throws yeah. her arms out. Like it's yeah. very, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Tails and whatnot. Yep. She has big tails. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yep. She ribbons. finds a dog, wants to keep it. Literally a like sitcom Daddy. episode. Daddy. But the old it's guy. Leave it to Beaver. Yeah. He also has a daughter. Mm-hmm. And this is Roxanne. Mm-hmm. And, and it, they have a less healthy relationship. Yeah. Their relationship <laughs> is the one that I'm That's not good. bothered by. <laughs> <laughs> it took me um describe it in detail Holly. way too far into this movie to realize that they were father and daughter oh no oh okay well, she said it at, well she said that she when she was going through her long ass dating history for no reason she said something like well and then i got divorced a second time and i just realized all i really needed was a dad or something and i was like wait what when she said that i was like how do you go from divorce twice to this guy's my dad is yeah. that what she was See, saying I- See, I didn't pick up on her like that was her admitting that this was her dad. Like, I, I didn't. Yeah, catch it that. was weird. It was very. Mm-hmm. It, I was like, "What's she talking about?" And then later on, I thought of that. I'm like, "Oh, she really meant that's her dad." Yeah. See, I is think it her dad or is she his daughter in Satan? You know. See, like, that's what I would try and work that's out why this I don't know. time is around. A possibility. This time around, I think it is. Her dad. Okay. Now, okay. once we get to the masks, I guess we'll start figuring <laughs> figuring some stuff out. We're going to have to red oh, no. string the All stuff. Right. Yeah. But Rides I down think it's masks. her dad. There's a scene, I guess they get, you know, so uh, Jacqueline Bissett runs a, a antique shop. She's just starting with a friend of hers. And, of course, all the uh, Duncan and his entourage come in, buy everything up on the first day. They're getting too oh. friendly. They're asking too many questions. And they're bringing Miles over all the time. Miles is gone a lot, okay. you know. And uh, Roxanne and Miles seem to have like a very um, uh, uh, friendly relationship, which I think is Getting irritating. All the time. Uh, Jacqueline Bissett. Okay. Right. Oh, yeah, so then I, I think early on in this, there's. She's like, I love your hands. Is she doing a lot of that? Does she touch his hands? Y- yeah, she does. Okay. Yes. Okay. 
and I yeah, got this she's movie. she's very familiar. Um, and the wife is very much like, I don't like this Roxanne. And Eldal is like, ah, ha, 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 ha. like that's you're crazy. You're imagining yeah. things, you that's, silly woman. Yeah, and he's like, of course you don't. Like it's just the okay. craziest okay. thing in the world. I'm pretty sure that scene actually happens. <laughs> I'll bet. And yeah. Then, um, Again, I I think I got it nailed. We'll keep going. <laughs> Yeah, well, they're invited yeah. <laughs> to a uh, New Year's Eve party. New Year's Eve party, which she does not want to go. Yep. She's had her fill. Normally, they just celebrate their honeymoon on New Year's by having tequila and playing checkers. Because sounds they went to great. Mexico Actually, for their honeymoon. you know what? Sounds great. Yeah. That's, I was like, that's, I was that's like, that sounds I like a lovely night. That's the love night. I'm looking for. I don't yeah. like tequila, but Preach. I'll play you checkers. checkers. I'm in. I'll, play checkers. I'll king you. Yeah. You queen me. We'll do it. <laughs> But like, yeah, if you're telling me I could go to a crowded mansion party or stay home and play tequila checkers, I'm going to stay home. Like, yeah. As long as it's not tequila checkers, like you're taking shots. D- and, you know, I that, think that well, might be what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. This is the 70s. People drank differently back then. Than they yeah, I guess so. They but more. even at this party, like there's a... Uh, this is a of, crazy party. Yeah, yeah, because there's people... I mean, eventually there's a naked woman dancing on a mm-hmm. table. There's right. people fondling each other in the staircase. Everyone is touching and making out. It's an orgy. It's an orgy. And at some point, Alan Alda... Like, I think she says, like, I'm going to go home, you know, and he immediately starts kissing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And yeah. he starts she, kissing okay. this other okay. woman. She decides to leave him there. No, yeah. at no, an orgy. No, <laughs> no. She just leaves the room. Oh, okay. She, she just, said she was gonna go. She's over. like, right. if she the, she's like, if I'm not back in ten minutes, call the police. And so, she goes so the door to, like, closes, and he's like, nom, nom, as, nom. Yeah. as soon, as, as, soon yes. as she walks out of the room and he turns around, he grabs the first person in front of him and they start making out. Mm-hmm. Okay, is he? He's drunk. Pose- d- d- drunk. He's drunk. Is, okay, yeah. just drunk. Mm-hmm. Like to he, no, he's drunk. He's okay. just drunk at this point. But door closes. Nom, 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 not nom. even door closes. She just walks out of the room. It's like a study or whatever. Yeah, and there's a like bunch a of people parlor. trying to kiss her on her way up the stairs. Yeah, yeah. Okay. they she's... figure if you're here, you're for it. Yeah, yeah. right. She up. makes her way to the study where she's by herself. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Very nice red room. I was gonna say, uh, how red big wallpaper. Is this house. I imagine it's, it's a mansion. Yeah. Red room. red room study with like, uh, with like the red velvet drapes. Ooh, yep. how nice. Rich red mahogany. Paint. Rich ma- love rich mahogany. Leather, leather bound books. Leather bound books. Yes. Books yes. by Balzac. Yes. She yes. finds uh what is it? The There's, book of calls. Yeah, <laughs> Calais. The, so the book of Calais. I think so. You know, in uh, the Devil Rides Out, there was the. Um, that like the curtain and the satanic altar was behind it. Correct. They've at least yeah. upgraded this to where it's like a it's like a gate it's gated a cabinet. cabinet. Yeah. 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 So better. like it and it, it's cool because yeah. it has like a, it's like, it has like iron. Devil. It's like yeah. a hatched cabinet. Yeah. 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 It's like iron and glass. It looks really cool. It's very yeah. cool and it's locked. Yep. Like Mars, you should. You should. Like, yeah. you should you know, do. Like, Christopher Lee, lock take up notes. Guns, you know? Lock up alcohol. <laughs> exactly. Lock up Satan. Yeah. yeah you yeah. don't need an alcove. Although no. the alcove is <laughs> yeah. cool. The alcove yeah. was cool. So Roxy and Alcove. Yeah. 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 Um, so um, she, yeah, she's in there. She's checking out the cabinet, and then she hears a noise, mm-hmm. and she turns. And it's the cutest little evil dog ever. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> a black lab with like a really ornate kind of like almost like studded like, collar. Like, yeah. It's, but not like but spiky, gold. like yeah. studded. Uh, yeah. It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's a rich dog. Robin. Yeah. Robin. And the dog's name's Robin. Yeah. yeah. Robin. Very uh, good acting from good this dog. dog actor, Great dog yeah. acting. Throughout this good, entire good, movie. Really In this good. part, she yeah. gets him to like roll over and Aww. pet it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right, because it's like growling at her, and she's like, oh, "I don't like this dog. This dog doesn't like me." Doesn't and she hiss at this dog? She hissed point? at the dog earlier in the yeah. movie. Yeah, and it's like, "Well, you're yeah. antagonizing it." So. Yeah, right. Yeah. So yeah, and then like the dog, it looks like the dog's about to attack her, and then Roxanne comes in, and is like, "Oh, he's just a sweet baby. Don't <laughs> let him bother you." And it like rolls over, and yeah, up it's in its belly, cute. and it's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> is this where she gives her the whole thing about like, "I'd like to make a." cast of your yes. husband's face because he has his, the bones are beautiful right. okay in, anyone in, ever says flames, this to flames. me <laughs> in the study there are like masks of, like life like, casts like masks. life yeah. casts of people's faces yeah. yes. like death death masks like yeah. death masks right. yes and okay. but one but of, like her father is but one yeah. of them is yeah um Fucking, what's his name? Duncan. Duncan. And Duncan. One of them is Duncan. And one of them's her. One of them is her. And there's several other people mm-hmm. there, which I guess then you start going like, okay, what are those? You right. know, is this has this been going on for but, a lot longer? But the whole thing can... is like she's an artist. That's what she does. Yep. Yep. They're just quirky, weird artists. These. How, these, how many? <laughs> how many times have you used that? I'm an artist. That's what I do. You use that a lot. Are you gonna start using it now? Are I'm you not... bewitching people? <laughs> Are you making life casts of people? What are you doing, Holly? <laughs> I'm not answering any She's of those smirking. questions. <laughs> a sly, a sly smirk, and then I'm not answering. I'm not answering any of those questions. <laughs> Thank you. 
there's a couple of double entendres, I think, here. It's like, uh, so I'd like to make a life cast, and, you know, it's mm-hmm. like, well, I'm not my husband's keeper, and like, mm-hmm. okay, so I'll do your husband then. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Are you kind yeah. of your husband's keeper? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, actually, yeah. well, your husband's keeper? Well, it's very, like, I don't know, like, in this movie, yeah, I don't know if it's a... There is a power dynamic, for sure. Like, it's, mm-hmm. yeah, it's palpable. That sounds messy. It's, it's palpable. Okay. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, and and so Roxanne does make a face a life cast of Miles um, that night or later. I think it's the it's next like the morning. Next day. Okay. It's very soon. Yeah, because Duncan then shows up. You know, we've always seen him in like full dress, right? Yeah. He's always in a tuxedo yeah. or some kind sure. of you know formal wear. Here's my favorite question: Is Duncan walking around of his own accord? Does he have a cane? Does... Okay, he has been walking normal. Okay, but now this scene when Miles is there getting his face cast, suddenly he pops in the door and he's got a cane. Okay, which is unusual. We have not seen this yet. Yeah. Okay, and yeah. there's the dialogue of like, I know. "You're on it. You know, this is great." Did you take your medicine? <laughs> okay. I took it and it doesn't work. You know, and, okay. mm-hmm. and he's so clearly then, drunk in this. Moment. Yep. Uh, yeah. yeah, this is when he makes the Benjamin Button comment. Correct. Because I was, I was already like, "Oh God, getting life cast." Is a scene that will always bother me in movies because it seems yeah. horrifying. Yeah. No, yeah. Uh, we discussed it before because we were talking about with Maxine. Maxine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. this is the not unlike that man. scene. Yep. Um, not as dramatic as that one, but imagine getting life cast and a, there's a drunk person screaming in your ear and sloshing drinks around right by you. Like, <laughs> like I'm like this. Nope. This guy's gonna knock me over while I'm in this nope. thing or something. Yeah, yeah. As if life casting isn't bad enough. Let's add a drunk old man to yeah. the mix. Let's fuel that. Mm-hmm. Night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and. Uh, then the uh, uh, Miles breaks the news to his wife when he finally returns, like late that night, right? Right. That, she, like, yeah. Duncan has leukemia and yeah. he's dying. You know, mm-hmm. they're like, oh, and she's like, oh, he yeah, she's yesterday. Like, she's like, well, I don't care for them, but I don't like that. <laughs> yeah. And so then I think there's like, yeah, he's like, so, I am also a human. I don't care. For right. Them, but that's not good. <laughs> yes. Now, how does she, how does uh, um, Alan Alda goes back to the house? Is he invited? Um, While she's making the life cast, does she, right. anyone ask a question or does she explain why she does this at, at that moment? No, she, they, never really, they never, they never, yeah, just, yeah, just yeah. That? she's an artist. Right. That's her okay. thing. It is a get, get out of jail free card. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, see, yeah, it is. Yeah. Stop um, making in front of me. Why? I'm an artist. I'm an artist. <laughs> Let me do my artist things. Well, he <laughs> ends up back at the house. Um, oh no, because he's right now altruistic. He's like, well, because uh, Duncan gets transfusions. Mm. And so Miles right. is donating his own blood yeah. to uh, help, uh, you know, help with Duncan. Okay. How and official is this process? Right. I have a question. Well, There's a have, nurse there. Like a live-in nurse or something? Sure. Not but, not a, an well, acolyte who's dressed up as a nurse taking I mean, his blood? I mean, she does, Roxanne does dismiss her to go get dinner and she's like, I'll leave your tray of blood. I'll take it. She's like, okay. Go and get dinner. Okay. <laughs> okay. So it's real easy to get a nurse costume and pull this shit yeah. off. Pretty but they much, also yeah. have butlers and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Sure, like, sure. You know, um, maybe you have a living nurse. You have an on call nurse. Whatever. You know, you can yeah. you can have somebody come over. Yeah. And They're like rich. And um, and she gives him, I think, a glass of uh, wine or sherry no, or something. It, it, no, I can tell you what it was. It was a bowl of bouillon. Oh, right. Mm, oh, yeah. Right. So, I so am you can remembering recover. this movie. Like, <laughs> fun. I did not expect to be remembering it like this. This bowl is great. Bouillon. Yeah. Because she's like, I did the transfusion yesterday, and I know how tired you can get. This mm-hmm. will help. Mm-hmm. Fucking hell, I can't believe I'm remembering this. <laughs> but we know. Are you being possessed by the spirit of the I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> but we know Fuck she's it. spiked the bullion, and so he mm-hmm. goes to sleep, and she's like, goodbye, Miles. And we're like, oh, <laughs> shit. Yeah. Right? Okay. So then there's like, uh, the movie does this a couple times. It does these like weirdo dream sequences <laughs> where it, <laughs> yes, it basically yes. frosts the camera, yeah. and the camera gets, you know, high up angles yep, yep, yep. and does all weird things. And we see. We see the uh, blue goo. Okay, Ooh, so this right. is yeah plot twist. Uh, so well, it's like oil. Not so okay. It's not. It's yeah, in it's the not. cabinet with the grimoire. It's right? in this very oh. witchy like it's a potion vial. bottle with yeah. a topper a on it. Yeah, the book. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So okay. this is this, this the, sounds like uh, the dark version of an armoire, the grimoire. Yeah, <laughs> well, well, yeah, yeah pretty your, much. Your book much. of spells, you know, <laughs> the ancient <laughs> tome. Love it. There you go, your tome. Your tome, mm-hmm. yeah. I love tome. Um, but there's so, this vial of blue liquid okay. that is so, very prominent in this movie. Does it glow or anything, is, or is it just blue? It's just, it's just very blue. blue. Yeah. Very blue. Yeah. Okay. Super and it's blue. the MacGuffin. Yeah. Because through this liquid, anything is possible, basically, right? So, um, name? Did we? 
No. 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 Okay. They never talk about the goo. Uh, they just but use it's it. There. They just use it. We shall call it the substance. <laughs> <laughs> well, she puts a little dab of it on her finger, and then she places it on Alan Alda's yeah. sleeping like, forehead. Like a, yeah. like a blessing. I remember the long witchy finger. Yeah, yeah put yeah. shit on his like forehead. Like a blessing. Okay. Yeah. And then she puts the life mask on him while he's passed out. Oh. And uh, terrifying. But, it, but on on who? On Alan Alda. But right, but or no, sorry. Yeah, but no, which she, mask? She puts sorry. She puts Alan Alda's face on Duncan. Yeah, because mm-hmm. he's Ill, very ill, you know, in bed, mm-hmm. and he's like, "Is it almost midnight or twelve? Mm-hmm. You yeah. Know? And she's like, "You're almost here." And then she puts the mask on his face. And at this point, she gives him um, a, a a cup with Alan Alda's blood, and he drinks it. Mm. Yep. Yeah. And so then Alan Alda wakes up and staggers around as you do. So and the then blue liquid he, does not get used. He no, it did. That was all it was. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's a blessing. So, and yeah. then he That's drank it. the blood. He drank the blood. And mm-hmm. then Alan and they Alda fucking freaky Friday. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yes. we're like, okay. <laughs> okay. So well, that was, well, all right. So there is there's a switch and not a just a replacement. They're, in one they end? freaky Friday, but Duncan dies. Yep. So, so his, Alan so Alda, Alda, his body dies. So Alan Alda was in that body. Alan Alda's spirit in Duncan gone. Yep. Gone. Now Alan Alda is Duncan. (laughs) Okay. Yes. So at this point, yeah. Does Alan Alda take on all the characteristics of the actor who's playing Duncan? No. 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 God damn it. What are we doing here? He he just gets an attitude. He just he just an asshole. Yeah. Just a dick. Yeah. He just he just becomes very into rich guy things. (laughs) Yeah. Exactly. But why does he get into rich guy things? Because he's because he's Duncan. Duncan. Well, yeah. yeah, yeah, No. But then okay. But. but Duncan has prepared for this mm-hmm. by bequeathing um, <laughs> oh, yeah. Alan Alda yes. with uh, all of his music yep. and okay. his piano yep. and $100,000 from yes. his checking account. Oh, yeah. And yeah. Roxanne gets He basically did a bank of transfer possession. of all of his stuff to his new body. He's yeah. like, yeah, I'm going to need this yeah. stuff when this I... Because yeah. I mean, we see this... Good notes. This is like, what <laughs> yeah. do we do? This is a good idea. we see this at like the reading of the will. Okay. Yeah. And then yep. the next thing we see Alan Alda in his brand new Mercedes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then they're like celebrating the fact that the other half of this Freaky Friday died. Yeah. Like they have a montage of a honeymoon. They do. It's they weird. Do, they do have it right like after the to, funeral. But I guess they are. But we, but we do have wait, the funeral. Hold on. Okay, we, back. we do yeah. have the funeral first. Yeah. Of Duncan. Duncan's yeah. funeral. Duncan's, Duncan's funeral. funeral. And, Where and there's... At, the, at the funeral, Roxanne recites, like, is it French? It sounds it's like French. French. Yeah. yeah. But it's like a spell, essentially, right. over yep. the casket. Okay. And nobody seems to question it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, except for Miles' wife. She's like, what the fuck? <laughs> and it's he's French. Nobody knows that something's right. wrong. She was like, "What is he talking?" And he, and Alan Alda's just like, "Everyone's entitled to their religion." Yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> delivers it so flatly, and oh my god, and oh, so and she, she, she drips the blue goo on the casket. Yeah, yes. yeah. Again, nobody questioning it. Is that like sealing well, it in there, making I, sure it's I, like? That's why I was wondering yeah. what was happening. I don't yeah. actually like, know. Don't it's know. just like no, okay, no use the magic stuff. No, and I yeah. think all the people at the funeral are the the you know the I entourage. mean, they were all dressed very chic. So yeah. yeah, I, I would okay. assume. It's the so, all right, so yeah. we're saying that the people there are pretty much like we know what's going on. Yes. yes. Okay, okay. Except for Alan Alda's wife, who's like, what the fuck? Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. So this is what I'm wondering. So yeah. Alan Alda's wife's still there because you said something about a honeymoon, and I want to know how we get to this with with the money because i remember i said that they talked about their... he didn't bequeath him like gym equipment he's like keep that body up <laughs> they talked about uh going on their honeymoon to mexico that's why they wanted to do like the tequila and checkers yep. on new okay. year's okay that's like to celebrate their mexican honeymoon sure. so yeah the next scene is them driving their brand new mercedes convertible to mexico to have like another honeymoon <laughs> yes okay, another where, honeymoon. where they're well, just like partying but this basically is kind of a honeymoon because we know that she's with a new guy yeah, right. like this right. is their right. get to know you kind of yeah well, he comes home that night and he's like i need to see you and undresses her like in the and like yeah. should we go to she's the bed? Just, she's like, like no let's not go top. yeah mm-hmm. and she's like let's go upstairs and he's like no <laughs> yeah i need to see you now and she was like love 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 remember yeah. from yeah. earlier yeah. Yeah. and he's, and, just, and like, he's yeah. just he's like what are you talking about yeah. oh no <laughs> yeah oh no yeah okay. so he so doesn't it was, so it was just duncan and his daughter in their house, in there, the Duncan Duncan didn't have a wife, right? Correct. Because okay. his wife died 
she was attacked by a dog back in 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 uh, Switzerland. Switzerland, yes, right. They were in Switzerland. Dogs are okay. a th- real theme in this movie. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're like, is it? Did Robin kill the? I don't know. There's like a whole backstory that's about to that come out about the wife and there's there's mm-hmm. people from the past are going to show up. Okay, so this is okay. That is yep. still coming. Okay, mm-hmm. so. They go on this honeymoon, and uh, Jacqueline Bissett is uh, enraptured mm-hmm. with the new Duncan. Okay. Like she, they tells imply her he friend, fucks better. Yes, this is the best sex that she's yep. ever had in her life, and so I she's mean, like, if "You can get a new arm like Jeff Fahey, and you know, <laughs> imagine getting a whole body." Yeah. Okay. So they return from the honeymoon, but uh, she begins to have disturbing dreams. Right. Mm. And in the dream, a pale faced Duncan shows up and like, I don't know, the whole house has gone all white and mm. there's the wispy Tasty, like spider webs yeah. or something mm. all over the place. And the ground is sand. And he's like taking the blue substance up the stairs to the daughter's room. And mm-hmm. he's like, I don't want to hurt her. But it's part of the bargain. Oh, yeah, it was a bargain. Well, he's he said, "I don't want to hurt her, but I have to." I have to. It's yeah, part of the bargain. No, he didn't say anything about a bargain. That's why it was so fucking confusing. Well, the bargain. You is, filled that part in because yeah. I was like, "What is he talking about?" And you're like, "Oh, it's part of the bargain." I'm like, "Since when?" So they never say that, right? This is the unspoken part of the uh, switcheroo, right? Mm-hmm. There's collateral involved. Like yeah. you have to something, give the devil the daughter. Something that they uh, never to the, explain. To the devil a daughter. To the devil a daughter. Okay. It, I don't. Is this what happened in that movie? I'm not going to tell you. Okay. <laughs> they never explain what's happening. No. And okay. I. So uh, Colin is, talks yeah. of a bargain, and everyone else is like, "What?" Yeah. Yeah. Colin's filling you, in this blank. Right, so yeah. Like, All right. This yeah. has got to be part of it. Yeah. He's Colin like, I don't is want filling to, in this to. blank. They do not talk about this in the movie. Okay. Right. Yeah. You have but, to say that. But uh, but apparently this. Guy, <laughs> but he's acting like he doesn't want to do it. But he's he's like this is something. This yes. is not what I have. Well, to I do. mean, it's Duncan. He's like, I. Well, I, I get the impression he doesn't really care. But he's also been like, I. Like, Sean, he's starting a new life. He wants to cut yeah. all loose ties. You know? <laughs> right. Well, you, like, you, yeah. can have a, you can have a daughter running around going as a different man in that body. Yeah. Yeah. You, just, you can't have it. Oh, yeah. there's a you also thing can't that... look the same age as your adult daughter. You know, like, that's the thing. <laughs> yeah. like, well, he's old, that. too close in age now. Very true. Mm-hmm. So, because otherwise, I might start making eyes at each other. But yeah. speaking of that, right, there are scenes where uh, Miles and Roxanne, right, because, like, Miles or Duncan in Miles' body now has you know been uh, uh, with uh, on the honeymoon with the, mm. with his, uh, Miles' wife, mm-hmm. yeah. and they come back and it's like okay we're gonna go over and see Roxanne. Roxanne's still kind of hanging around, but she's seeing some guy, and we're like well, this is just kind of like a temporary thing. Like the movie is trying to get these two like that's part of their deal, right? They're gonna get back together okay. well, now I mean, in, the, uh, in the new guy's body at the new year's part at the new year's party they were making out weren't they mm-hmm. yeah yeah we didn't talk about that like we see them making out yeah duncan, duncan and, and the daughter daughter okay yeah. oh uh, we, well, okay. no yeah big, big deal we see them making out duncan yeah. and the daughter yes and the wife sees this as just a ghast you yes. know she's like sure. what the fuck are these rich sure. weirdos she knew something was wrong and this just confirms her beliefs yes okay which is why i was very still confused i thought that they were a married couple yeah <laughs> it, well, later like on she when married I, him for his money so it's a uh, yeah i thought right. it was his young Anna wife Simpson right okay. later on when i in the movie when i realized it was actually his daughter i was like well fuck okay. this is okay. so disgusting. alan alda's <laughs> actual daughter dies Mm-hmm, in correct. the hospital, she develops she just, some kind of pigtails. Yeah, yes. mm-hmm. she just suddenly has this like mystery virus, and she, they take her to the hospital, and she's literally dead in like two seconds. But oh, did she like, have a drop of blue goo on her forehead when this happened? She did. Did she? There's a oh, dramatic yeah. reveal of the mom brushing back her bangs and then seeing the blue goo, and there's like music stings ah! and everything. Yeah. Okay. They, I have a question. Oh yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Has this our our our, our Duncan and Roxanne actually? Father and daughter. Yes. Or has this happened before? <clears throat> okay. It- My read on that is they're actually father and daughter. Okay. I know that there is other faces on the, you know, the, the right. mask. Right. The well, I'm mask. wondering if this is this <clears throat> procedure has happened before for the father, if he has transferred bodies before, or if right. she has. Or if any- she is like some other woman who is, you know, I mean, the movie right. doesn't point in that direction okay. i guess in any way that like the, at least that i picked up that you could she's see she's not like his handler over thousands of years right. transferring I mean, him from bodies it's 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 hard because there's little there's 
there's little breadcrumbs that I feel like you could go down that route. Okay, but this like, movie's not interested in going that way. I don't think so. Because okay. there's like there's a moment when Alan Aldo, Alan Aldo's talking about Duncan and he's like, you know, I think he's the greatest pianist like since the invention of the pianoforte. Okay. And, and just like stuff like that is implying that he's been around that long. Right. Mm-hmm. So there's little breadcrumbs to like it suggests that maybe he is just like this piano virtuoso that's been passed on generation generation so but there's an opportunity that the movie has to like expand on this because they introduce another character into the mix which is uh roxanne has been married before okay to doctor yep Ah. we'll call him bert i can't remember what his name (laughs) is bill Bill. 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 sorry it's bill Bill. yeah it's bill Bill. Bill. Bill the, Bill the doctor. doctor. Yep. Yes. <laughs> because I think what is happening to her, right? She's sitting there and she's like, I hate keep having these dreams. They don't feel like any kind of dream that I've ever had before. They're telling me something. My daughter has just died. Mm-hmm. My Which husband, they gloss over it real quick. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, she recovers very fast. Very fast. You know, it's like, oh, I knew that I saw in my dream. They put the blue she's stuff. Yeah. Uh, and she knows that her husband is acting weird. So she is putting it together. She's like, they're all devil worshipers. Uh, and they mm-hmm. have like Miles isn't Miles anymore. Okay. And mm-hmm. they killed they killed my daughter. And now they're going to try and kill me. Okay. So she goes to see reasonable Bill, Bill, right. Roxanne's ex husband. Okay, to find out like because I yeah. think she goes to the the. This starts with an investigation that you know goes back to the the. Um, it goes yeah, it goes back to Michael Fish. You know, you oh. have to look up. Yep. Like oh, so how, she's like looking shit up. Yes. What'd you find? The wife died. Uh, in in Switzerland, right, and oh, then right, the right, townspeople right. Yeah. hung the dog over a running stream because the devil can't swim. And there's a front page dog that photo him. of the dog being hung from the bridge. Yeah, well, yeah, like a drawing, like a yeah. woodcut, because yeah. God knows what year this right. is that it took place. Right. So remember this for later. All right, mm-hmm. so so the guy Bill, mm-hmm. right, is like. Initially dismissive of her and like, okay, well, like witchcraft, the, get Bill, out. Bill yeah. the doctor, Roxanne's ex-husband, do they explain why they're divorced? Yes. Yeah, so it turns <laughs> out, right, because you know, first of all, he's dismissive. He's like, you're talking about witchcraft? Yeah, she's uh, ready to leave now. Why don't you show her to the door? But I do like, like okay. when they when they first meet and he was like, so you you know Roxanne, my ex-wife. And she was like, well, I... I I, I sort of know her a little bit. He's like, yeah, I don't like her either. <laughs> <laughs> so they have like right. a thing. All right. So so Bill's coming off like normal. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And uh, Alan Alda has, uh, of course, mastered suddenly very complex sure, uh, musical also. arrangements. Mm-hmm. And so he has been invited to take over Duncan's tour of like 26 cities in six weeks or something sure, like that that sure. he's yeah. going to go on. So we attend the first performance at a concert hall and at that concert hall, right, <laughs> where he's a smash success. Sure. Uh, um, um, Jacqueline Bissett's friend is like, you know, it's like if you ever were looking for something else, there's a handsome man a couple rows down looking at you and we see... Dr. Bill he's turned around. He's literally turned around in his chair, <laughs> staring at her with his program rolled, rolled up, up, and he's like looking at her. <laughs> and he's like, and he's like six feet away. Like it is uncomfortably do, okay, close. Do they, all right. Uh, do they cut to a shot that is just a circle on her face? No. No. No, 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 no I wish. No. no. It's, it's literally Missed opportunity. Like, it's literally like. A, like panned out of him. That's yeah. Very funny. It, do they do they do they show her, him, and then that close shot where they're just like they are no. two feet away from each other. That would be Damn. if you're watching yeah. the naked gun. Yeah. <laughs> what man you say? That man right there. The man looking at you through that tube. That's and very funny. I think at the Seriously. after party, so right? Bill like, is looking at uh 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 Alan Alda's wife. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. And uh, there's this awkward, you know, meet up and the after party, right? Where, sure. uh, where uh, it would be awkward. If yeah, just like, I, I like, noticed you were staring. At yeah, me. Mm-hmm. yep. And they have to talk in code, but he mm-hmm. gives his number to yeah, her. Yeah, because at this point he's like, you know, I, I thought about, I thought about what you were asking about my former mother-in-law or my late mother-in-law, and then I thought about your daughter, and I started to feel, I started to feel guilty. So, I'll talk about it. Here's yeah. my number. Okay. Yep. Yeah. 
cut to they're driving down the California coastal this feels like highway. The, I'm, I'm so I'm just so heartbroken. I need I need someone to talk to. Here's my number. <laughs> yeah, and then they're they going for a drive in like Big Sur or something like that, and in a nice car. Big yeah, just and, gone. yeah, and uh, yeah, they just like take a weekend getaway. <laughs> yep. And he's like, "Don't worry, I have no amorous intention toward." You. And she's like, uh, "Oh, that's too I wish bad." You would, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. So they end up at like this little, like this a mansion on a bluff, like <laughs> overlooking the ocean. It's very romantic. It's got a fire. It's <laughs> a got a bearskin rug yeah. in front of the fire. The yeah. pillows. Yeah, it's beautiful. Okay. Uh, she's is, this, like, is this movie in a specific country? Do we uh, know? It's, America. It's in America. Yeah. Is it yeah. America? Okay. It, they're, they're in California. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Just want to make sure this was. So like they're just like on this bearskin rug, like in front of the fire, just like swirling their little scotch. Oh, mm-hmm. I love it. Yeah. Fire going. Mm-hmm. It's nice. Yeah. And Bert, so we're like Burt Reynoldsing the whole. Oh, way. Mm-hmm. for sure. Love yeah. it. Yeah. So it's like she's married to Alan Alda. He's out of the co- or out of town. He's right touring, on tour. Yeah. He's out and, of body, my friend. Yeah. So <laughs> she's like, all right, uh, let's go uh, hang out with uh, Bill here at the little seaside on the <laughs> the rug. Get away with Bill. <laughs> just love it. Everyone would just be like Bill. <laughs> so Bill. does Bill have any revelations Bill. Bill. about Bill. No. Uh, the past? I guess that specifically that would fill in Sean's question of has this been going on forever? Because mm, yeah. he does yeah. have a revelation was that Roxanne at one point on the day that the mother died, okay. Roxanne was pregnant and she miscarried. Mm-hmm. Ooh. But then he's like, but it wasn't my child. I can't prove it. But I know for a fact okay. that child was Duncan Eli's. Yeah. Okay. Because he was like, oh, we, you know, we miscarried. And she's like, I'm so sorry. He's like, no, it's okay. <laughs> that child was evil. It's fine. It was a monster. It was an incestuous child. It was a monster. So he's pretty sure that Roxanne was pregnant with her dad's child. Yes. Yep. And miscarried the day Roxanne's mother died. His. No. Roxanne's mother died. She no, I think well, it was the Duncan, wife. Duncan, it, or Duncan's it, it, wife. It would have Duncan's been wife. Roxanne's yeah. stepmom. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. But the day she died, she miscarried. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So a deal was broken. See, that's why I'm like, yeah, I don't understand what was going on there. No. Okay. And then Bill goes. <laughs> I feel like one thing happened and there but was a this, consequence for but it. Yeah. At, this to me. Point, at this point, Bill has confirmed. He's like, I don't believe in the devil, but I can confirm that they believe what they're doing. Okay. Mm-hmm. How did the wife die? The, the mother? the She was attacked by a dog. Yep. Yep. Was she deliberately attacked by a dog? Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. And we assume it's suppo- Robin, right? It's Somehow Robin. supernatural, yeah. right. like the hound of hell. I, uh, see, Mastiff. I, I wonder if she wasn't like, uh, the losing of the child was a consequence for the mother dying. Like something happened, the dog attacked her and killed her, and she wasn't, like the mother wasn't supposed to die. And because she did... It broke a bargain, it feels like. Yeah. I based don't know. on what the information I'm getting. But I don't know. Mm-hmm. It's not not explored. Not clear, yep. not explained, not and, explored. Uh, yeah. Okay. So then Bill's like, I'm gonna go get some more wood. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I bet yeah. he she's like, Okay, Bill, you know, mm-hmm. she's I'm gonna her. bring you some more wood. Yep. <laughs> Wait right there. Cut to the next morning. She <laughs> fell asleep. Wood. The hardest the hardest wood I can find. <laughs> but she falls asleep Sleep in the wood. And the next morning she wakes up and guess what? She's got wood. There's no bill. Oh, no bill. No bill. Okay. Oh, where'd bill go? Bill. Bill's Dr. on. Bill. Bill's on the beach. Bill's on the beach. Bill beach. Took, bill. Bill took a tumble. Oh in no. The night. Mm-hmm. And uh, yep, he's he's dead. Oh, bill. I know. I hate to I tell know. you this. He's he's dead. Yep. Oh no, Bill. Yeah. Does he have a blue spot on his forehead? Oh, I bet he does. He really does. Mm-hmm. Oh he shit. Does. <laughs> oh no. So now is he just dead, or is there an obvious look at him? He died because of this. Um. Or is he just? He's <laughs> bleeding from the head. Yep. Okay. And she's Dead. interrogated by the police and she's like, I know my husband killed him. <laughs> and I'm like, I thought your husband was in Chicago. That was part of, you know. Yeah. It's like, yeah, but they believe in, you know, black magic and they switched and blah, blah, blah. And they're like, okay, this case is closed. <laughs> so yeah. okay. she's now literally what they said. <laughs> all alone, right? And I believe it's somewhere around here. She goes back to the house. She's attacked by the dog. No, before that, though, she has a dream mm-hmm. that uh, Miles and the daughter. Mm-hmm. Uh, Miles and Roxanne. Roxanne accost her in her room, mm-hmm. tie her down, and put blue mark on her uh, And they're head. both wearing black turtlenecks. Yeah, and then reason. they just start getting it's, busy it's like crazy in the corner. Mm-hmm. Uh, 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 young um, 
Norman Bates was wearing that. Yep. Oh, not too long ago. Yeah, oh, you're, you're right. Steve yeah. Jobs. Steve, Steve Jobs, Jobs yeah. Yeah. obviously. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was watching uh, Psycho the other day. He wears the black turtleneck in that as well. I know. Yeah. 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 It's, just, it's, just the it's a well-researched movie, Psycho yeah. 2. Yeah, yeah, it is. It truly is. Uh, <laughs> I am appreciating Psycho 2 a lot more. Yeah. yeah. Like, I know we appreciate it a lot that night, mm-hmm. but I'm just like, this is really very good. It was very good. Yeah. It was. It was good. Um, so, turtlenecks of evil. Right. Mm-hmm. Copyright so, 2024, Saturday Night Freak Show, Turtle Next of Evil. <laughs> so at this point, right, she's like... There's the time on Sprockets when we dance. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, it is <laughs> so she's like, they're going to try and kill me. Like, that's the next yeah. obvious thing that's going to happen. My life is in danger. They've killed everybody else. And so she is like, I am going to take this into my own hands. Mm-hmm. And she goes to the house... Because she's looking for the blue goo, which yeah. she dumps into a little container of her own, mm-hmm. and she steals the book. She's attacked by the dog, yep. but she stabs it to death, and the dog, okay, this okay. is again, where this... we have to call out the acting of this mutt. Oh my God, <laughs> or purebred. so good. The dog acting in this scene. So good? Is I mean, it's Shakespearean. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, just... Oh. This it's dog, better than that. like it, it, it comes, <laughs> so. it comes at her. There is, there is a struggle between yeah. woman oh. and dog. Oh, and she takes like a letter opener from yeah. the desk, stabs it in the heart, oh, no. mm-hmm. and this dog like falls over, like, and, like slowly like, tumbles slowly down tumbles. to the ground, <laughs> and it like flops. <laughs> yeah. So you're saying then, this is the Pee Wee Herman of dogs? And then, as, as far as like, <laughs> yes. Ah, yes. When yeah. you ah. when you think it's done, it like lifts its head up and reaches <laughs> its paw out like to her, last, like you bitch. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like ah, oh, you, you'll never get away with this. Yeah, and like, then ah. and then flops down. It's like it's like the the Mercutio death. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Both your it was, it yeah. was it's great. Yeah, <laughs> and like it's but, and like the. The knife is so obviously like or the letter opener like a rubber like wax appliance stuck onto yeah. his fur. But I was I love how fake it looked because it's like an animal right. acting in a scene. I'm right. like totally okay with it. And but it the way like, he like he didn't lay on that side with the knife. He laid on the opposite side so it would stick up. He was yeah. yeah. He was great. And then a he professional. Like, yeah. yeah. And then I know. the head falls and then you cut away and you come back and, and his, his tongue, tongue is laying out. out. Yeah. This Yes. Yeah. yeah. This, this pooch. This yeah. pooch, I tell you. So this yeah. might be one of the best like so dog yeah. acting things it I've ever seen. I'm, I'm going to revive something. So this is a key interview in our animals. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. 100%. Yeah. 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 All right. Especially or because. Or at least his descendants because he's no longer. Right. I, yeah. I don't know how it came about, but usually it feels like in movies for like evil dogs, it's like Rottweilers, German Shepherds, yep. Dobermans. Yep. This is a black lab, like the friendliest looking dog ever, mm-hmm. but this dog can act. So he sells it. He's selling it. This dog's great. Yeah. 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 <laughs> he was he was the best. Was there boy. ever a moment where there was stand in dog? Uh no. arms on sticks, anything like that? Uh, no. No. Uh, no. A, a bad puppets. No. Uh, no. Nothing no. like that. The way okay. that they shoot it, they just avoid you know, they avoid that. They avoid yeah. That's probably doing so they, it. But they there's also right. moments that you expect that you would see that you don't you know, yeah. like mm-hmm. inserts. You don't mm-hmm. really see the dog attacking, but it's more right, like right. Brruh, 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 yeah. and her Yeah. And know. then like from oh, yeah, so yeah, and like from like the, the dogs going at the camera. Yeah. 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 Okay. And like from a distance you see her like you know, like like they're struggling, but they're oh, probably oh. just like dancing. Right. Playing. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh like the bear attacks and berserker. Yeah, yeah. You're such a good bear. Pretty much. Yeah. Okay. Understood. So her options are kind of limited at this point. I think she gets into a crash afterwards, mm-hmm. uh, and she has dog flashbacks of the dog she killed, oh. and she smashes yep. her car. She ends up in the hospital, okay. where it turns out that she's had a stroke. Oh, no. Right? Because something's going on in her brain because of the blue. Th- the, you got to remember, she had the blue yeah, thing in her head. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. So at this point, she hatches a, 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 a an idea here mm-hmm. that yeah. she is going she, to undertake. Seen? Yeah, she says... Um, I know that he's no that Miles is no longer my husband, but whoever he is, I want to be with him even one last time. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is sexual obsession, yeah. right? We're watching in this movie okay. where she <laughs> okay. Now she says this separate of Miles, yeah. yeah. To, to who? Uh, her friend uh, who runs the store with her. Okay. Yeah, mm-hmm. and she's is she in the hospital or out of it? In in the, in the hospital. hospital. In the hospital, yeah. and she says, "I need to be with him one last time." Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now I would think at this point. Either she really wants to be with him one last time, or she wants to be with him one last time to murder him. It's Where do the, we get to? The right, impression right. is that she has to get some of that. 
again. Yeah. Like she wants, yeah. right? Yeah. She's got to oh, un- uncork the tab, yeah. uh, you know, because yeah. it's like this is the best thing that she's. I this is Hellraiser right. before it was Hellraiser. So good. Yeah. She's like, I don't care that it's not my husband. I'll die for yeah. it. I will die for it. All right. I will make a deal with the devil. Ooh. Ooh, all right, so this is how it goes. See what sex leads to, folks? Yes, this is the part actually you is. walked in on because she has stolen the book, and so she reads, she can read French. She reads the spell, and she's like, okay, and I got the no, blue no, stuff. No, it's a cutaway where she goes to a French class for 12 weeks yeah. <laughs> to learn how to speak French, come yeah. back to opening this book, and then going forward. Yeah, and so she does a little, the pentagram on the floor. Yes. She's got to like take her Fully uh, naked off, pentagram, so can, yeah. Yep, the fully naked pentagram pentagram yep. so she can make a deal and then <laughs> oh is this when I walked in on? yes because okay. yes. we hear <laughs> All right. I, somebody... I did walk in near the end of this movie just be like hi guys and yeah. then I saw naked lady going yep. I'm ready yeah. I'm ready to like, bargain oh, master the good part yes yeah. and we needed right the like Your are you, are you ready to, to yes. live deliciously or something yes. but it's the most uh, ineffective devil he, you hear the sound of somebody walking down yeah. uh-huh. the hallway and then the door opens mm-hmm. there's somebody feet standing there mm-hmm. and she looks up you know and that's the shadow mm-hmm. and that's basically it but it's like okay i get you know mm-hmm. what's happening oh yeah oh yeah and so now she goes to the house mm-hmm. uh so right? it's like cut to black and then we come to her going to the house going to the house yeah. yep uh, and and we see that she r- takes a wrench and wraps it in a towel. Like we know she's up to no good, right? Mm-hmm. She's gonna do something. Okay. So uh, sock full of nickels. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And she smashes the uh, headlight on the Rolls Royce and mm-hmm. then tells the mm-hmm. butler like you shouldn't leave the Rolls yeah. Royce out there in this neighborhood. There's rich kids there's running around. Rich hoodlums yeah. everywhere. At and least she blamed it on other rich kids. Rich, <laughs> <laughs> uh, rich people are menaces to society. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, I don't think in the way she's describing it. It happens but okay. in all. You don't the think rich kids break stuff just because they can? Yeah, because yes, they, they have no, they no respect for anyone can. else's property because absolutely. everything is disposable to them. Okay, so absolutely. yeah, I'm just glad a rich person didn't have you ever blame seen the poor people. Ring? Yeah, I yeah, have seriously. not, but I understand what you're saying. Yeah. Um, they're bored. They're rich. They need something to do. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, she's basically like, someone attacked the car just to get him out <laughs> so she can lock him out yeah. of the house. Right, right, right. Yep, yeah. yep. Okay. And then yeah. she, then Roxanne is like, oh, Paula. Oh, hello. Paula. That's her name. Paula. Right, there we go. Paula. <laughs> it's just the one, woman we've been talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Paula? Okay. Alan Jesus. Alda's wife is yeah. Paula. Paula? It's like, yeah. oh, Paula. Uh, these two have a relationship. <laughs> that's the biggest that- revelation. <laughs> 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 they have this. Paula. Uh, right. This is my, this is our son. Paul Atreides. <laughs> yeah. Well, they have this relationship through the entire movie that's like cordial, but they hate each other. Sure. Yeah. It's uh, like we've all been through that. Oh, what, my they God. go to an Asian yeah. restaurant at one point, which is hilarious because uh, like, you know, uh, Miles comes home and he's like, what are we having for dinner tonight? And she's like, well, I got some hot dogs. He's like, ah. <laughs> I feel like Japanese, you know, because he's Duncan. We got to go to a Japanese oh, right. restaurant. Yeah. Yeah. And then. Uh, He's literally like, well, I wasn't rich last week. Now I'm rich. Like, it's very, yeah. Uh, yeah. And so then Roxanne shows up at the restaurant with her new guy. And uh, as uh, Paul is like, move, you know, kid, move over because she's got sharp elbows. You know, it's like oh. they're just always cutting at each other. Okay. With, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so in this climactic moment, Where right, came from sharp elbows. she ends up clocking Roxanne in the back. Oh, no, she tells her. She taunts her on the staircase. She's like... Oh, yeah. She's like, I serve the master now, and he's on my side. Okay, wait. All right, so the, yeah. the, the, this, the, oh, this is Paula. Paula says that. Okay. Well, no, I, to Roxanne. I gotta get back into this because the Paula thing. No, I me. know. It's for so you. Paula, <laughs> Paula goes to the house. Yeah. Okay, and then runs into Roxanne. Yep. Yep. And clocks her. Well, before she does, she says... I'm, I serve the master now. He's on my side. Yeah. And Roxanne's like, ah, what are you talking about? Blah, blah, blah. Then she clocks her. And yeah. the head. Okay. Paula with the wrench in the hallway. Paula with the wrench. Yeah. The, yeah. The sock yeah. full of nickels. Gotcha. And we know that there is a death's head mask of Roxanne hanging on the wall. There okay. is. Okay. And so I believe there's maybe some of uh, Paula reading uh, French uh, spells, right? Okay. At her home. Mm-hmm. She goes okay. home. Yep. And you're like, oh, what nefarious thing is she up to? Uh-huh. And her She's friend. A quiche. Yep. Okay. <laughs> and her friend comes over the next later that night. Mm-hmm. 
and finds uh, telltale signs of there's a candle beside the <laughs> Satan. Yep, yeah, 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 pretty so much Satanism. The, yes. the pentagram with the there's burning, lit candles and a pentagram. The yeah. burning, the burning black candle in the middle. Yeah, she hears water running. She's like, "What's going on?" So she goes in the bathroom. <laughs> oh, there's lit candles, a black cat, and 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 uh, <laughs> uh, uh, something burning, and she's like, "Satanism." Yeah. Well, you need the bell, the book, and yeah. the candle. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. We don't have the bell. Mm-hmm. Is it a bell shaped decanter? No. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. But the blue goo. Okay. Yeah. The blue goo. Yeah. All right. And so what does she find she, in the bathtub? In the bathtub is the deceased body of Paula. She slit her wrist in the bathtub, oh. and she's wearing the Roxanne mask. Oh, no. Mm-hmm. So you yes. think about this. What her plan was, right? Because we have to trap Roxanne. We're going to steal her soul at so the stroke of midnight. she Roxanne and killed herself? Well, because Roxanne transformed. You know, I mean, like, yeah. you got to be really confident in this plan. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, Holy shit! So yeah. she is now. She has now. <laughs> so she learned all the French. Yeah. Yeah. Grabbed the book. Yeah. Yep. Got the blue goo. Got the blue goo. Yeah. Got the mask. Yeah. Conjured Roxanne into her body she and killed herself. Kills, yeah. Freaky Friday. Badass. But you Roxanne. have to kill yourself before Roxanne gets into you. So yeah. that's the thing. Well, you have like, to slit the wrist before. All right, yeah. I hope yeah. This works. This yeah. Is like, this is like Fallen. Yeah. 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 Oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> all right. I like it. Yeah, so but it shit. works. So I like how, it work? I like it how petty. How do we know it works? They, yeah, they Freaky Friday. How yeah. do we know it works? Um, well, Miles comes home to well to the to, home to Roxanne. Okay, and <laughs> and he's not like Paula. No, yeah, not, not Paula. Wife. And he's like Roxanne. Did you hear? And she's like, hear what? And he's like, or no, she's like, is she dead? He's like, she's dead. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and then. Oh, and, 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 and Paula, Paula also, a dramatic turnaround. Miles and Paula are smoking. Did this end with the love, love, love thing? No. That would have been very. No, if, but those, if, those people are, well, I guess she's. Well, she, yeah. but, but okay, Alan yeah. Alda is still. Yeah. Right, right. You're he's right, still right, Duncan. Right. Yeah. You're right. You're right. Um, but yeah, they were smokers. So first of all, he, he smells so smoke. Yeah. yeah she's, she's, she's smoking. There. I was going to say, there's got to be a, a, yeah, that a sign. She's smoking. Well, yeah. When she. She like floats down the stairs and then he's like, what is that scent? And she's like, I've changed my perfume. And it's the same perfume that Paula wears. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Our little housewife wore. Yeah. So it's like he really didn't like, you know, he was like getting his, you know, job. like, I hate it. Didn't really <laughs> like her that much. It was like these two were supposed to be together. But now she, uh, Paula, is in Roxanne's body mm-hmm. and he kisses her madly and she is rapturous in the <laughs> moment where she's like, I have got everything that I yeah. want. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, so everyone really got what they wanted. At this I point. mean, kind, no, kind, well, uh, no, no, uh, no. Yeah, the spirit Alan, got Alan Alda's yeah. dead. <laughs> Alan Alda's dead. Well, I mean, Duncan got what he wanted. Duncan yeah. got what he wanted. He got yeah. Alan Alda's body. The bad but, guys won. But Paula got what she wanted. <laughs> Paula got what she wanted because Roxanne is dead. Right. And, and she gets she's the in best, Roxanne's body. She gets the best yeah. sex of her life forever right. now. And, Roxanne no longer gets to have sex with her dad because she's dead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. The dog did get what it wanted. The dog yeah. died. Yeah. Oh. And Bill. So, yeah. yeah. And Bill. Oh, Bill. Bill died. Bill. We, we, Bill. Miss, we miss Bill. We miss yeah. Bill. Bill. Dr. Bill. Yeah. And uh, yeah, freeze frame on her like ravenous face. Yep. Yeah. That's yeah. it. That's Movie it. Over. We're out. Done. Yep. yep. Wow. Woo. Yep. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Uh, wow. There's a tale in the telling. <laughs> okay, but now I guess listener at home, you're like, uh, should we should we tell the <laughs> should we recommend that Sean watches it? Mm-hmm. We need to do this like once every couple months. <laughs> this is great. Because you, you have like I an love this. idea of this in your head now. <laughs> of what the movie's like. Love uh, it. Okay. Right. Well we're gonna tell you if you should watch this movie or not, uh, after we answer some of your mail. And in order to do that, we're gonna have to summon our mailman his name's igor bring us the mail masters masters the mail i've got the mail so many letters our followers are rising rising why thank you igor do you think he has a bottle of blue goo i think he's made of blue. he's made of, <laughs> oh that is that's what, the that inside of him he's like a, him, yeah. he's like a gusher <laughs> Oh no! Oh, oh, <laughs> Don't know. I mean, it's full of blue no. goo. Oh, you know. Oh, it just squirts in your mouth. Yeah. Oh. It gushes. Yeah. Oh, oh, stop saying that word. <laughs> They're good though. They're delicious. They are delicious. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you all right, all right. You go chew on Igor and see how much you like it. Delicious. 
<laughs> All right. Well, we should let the good folks at home know how they can participate on this interactive portion of our show by following along on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Saturday Freak Show. Or X. At Sat Freak Show. Or by email. Saturday Freak Show at Yahoo.com. Or on threads or Instagram at Saturday Night Freak Show. About the Mephisto Waltz. Oh, uh, someone's seen this one? No. Uh, Mike- <laughs> All right. Michael Whitaker writes in and says, if you told me I'd find out there was a horror movie that starred Alan Alda, I'd say you were crazy. Uh, also, Mephisto, is this part of the MCU? Is there a Marvel character named Mephisto? I Maybe don't know. The it's only, Ms. Mephistopheles, the right? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Isn't it Mephisto. from Dante's Inferno? <laughs> Mephisto was a character I I'm going to go, yeah. a, little, I'm gonna go uh, a little lower class yeah. and say the only Mephisto I know is from Twisted Metal. <laughs> yeah, but it's all and names for Satan. Like, yeah. like I said, right? yeah. lower class. Yeah, the old, the old, yeah. the old literature <laughs> of the 90s is what I'm going back to. Yeah. But it's but there. It's, it's like Faust, right? Yeah. 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 Yes. And you got a Faustinian yeah. bargain going yeah. on here. Yeah. Uh, last week, we watched a movie called Texas Chainsaw 3D. Corpo <laughs> Agent <laughs> says Bill Mosley had a role in the Clint Eastwood film Pink Cadillac <gasps> because of his role in Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2, which Eastwood had seen and asked for Mosley personally, so it is very possible that he's seen Texas Chainsaw 3D. We it said is definitely possible. Eastwood Again, is in. Yeah. The thing that, that gave movie. me the most joy was thinking of Clint Eastwood sitting down to watch Texas Chainsaw. Yes. 3D. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Maybe he's a fan of the whole series. Yeah. Maybe he doesn't I would miss. Love to when know somebody out. interview this man before he's dead. <laughs> yep. Uh, Bell Tolls 1984. <laughs> the Magic one is his favorite. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Bell Tolls 1984 uh, says oh, Alexandria Dar- Dario is so beautiful. She's great in this as well as the amazing season one of True Detective. I've had a crush on her ever since. You're all the best horror film podcast out there. Keep up the great oh, work. Thanks. Oh, thank, thank you, you so, so much. much. Who was that? Who was that? Who was that? Uh, Bell Tolls 1984. Thank you very thank much. You. I appreciate it. We appreciate it. We do. We love, you. We love right you. again. Lucas tell us, Ocardo tell us good or, things about ourselves more. <laughs> Lucas Ocardo, our fan Send form. me messages every morning. <laughs> right, right. We need this. We need this. <laughs> We're getting into the dark times. It's getting real dark around here in Illinois. Uh, Lucas Ocardo, our fan from Buenos Aires, says, Ooh, my, love my heart hurts when you guys oh. diss Hooper's oh. Texas Chainsaw 2. It's a perfect parodic over-the-top version of the first movie with special effects wizard Tom Savini's best work and wonderful, colorful cinematography and art direction. I recommend wholeheartedly that you guys read. There's an article he linked to about what the sequel could have been a canon hadn't been on the brink of bankruptcy at the mm. time, a crazy satirical project of a town full of cannibals in the 1964-2000 maniac style called Beyond the Valley of the Chainsaw Massacre. <laughs> I love okay. that title. So That's so you cool. You have an interesting premise, but I don't know. I think your argument is based on a lot of stuff that never came to fruition. Well, no, he yeah. likes uh, I know, Texas I know, Chainsaw I know. Too. Well, uh, I know a lot yeah, of people do. We have, That's but, an unpopular opinion yeah, we yeah. have. Why no, we, we realize and that. Again, yeah. there are certain, like, again, effects wise, great, effective, love it. I love Shit. Dennis Hopper fighting with two chainsaws. I yeah, yeah, there are yeah, certain yeah, elements that are just like I, I love the idea of this and maybe even the presentation, but there there that movie, there's just a screech. It's, that's yeah, it's annoying to watch. Uh, that yeah. starts at that movie and does not end until the very end. Yeah. And yeah. it just gets And in some your people ear. like that is like and it's a horror movie, right, you know. I mean fine I get you, it because the first one I think feels like that to a lot of people. Mm-hmm. Sure. Probably and in I a different right. way, yeah, but yeah. it also has the same effect on it. Yeah. So no, I, I, I'm, I'm glad yeah. that you love it, and yeah. I mean, we're all we glad love that you love it. We love your passion for it. We love your passion for it, just not for us. We also watched Psycho Two. We, we did. did, which was very much for us. Uh, Jolo Holo says, <laughs> Jolo uh, Ho Ho says, I think this is a strong follow up to the classic. Mm, yes. Agreed. Mark Harrison says, oh, because Richard Fra- Franklin was Australian, uh, does this count as exploitation?" <laughs> <laughs> we are not exploiting anything that's p- particularly Oz, so I'm going to say no, but yeah. I like Road I like, games. I like games. where your head is at. Yeah. 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 Yes, we will get there. And we will Patrick get your exploitation. Yep. We will yep. get that. Uh, several weeks ago, we watched Salem's Lot. Paul of Iowa says, I'm of a certain <laughs> age, meaning I watched the original miniseries as a kid and thought it was outstanding for being a made for TV production. The practical effects and makeup always stood out to me, even though I can recognize modern audiences might take issue with some of the acting and the plot pacing. Fast forward to this past weekend when my wife and I watched the Salem's Lot 2024 movie, and I'm probably in the minority, but it was better than I thought it would be. 
I am Paul, Paul of Iowa. Yeah. <laughs> I've come to sing the praises of Salem's Lot of all iterations, <laughs> including the newest one. Watch. That's all. There you go. That is my declaration. <laughs> well, uh, maybe we, I'll watch it out of curiosity. I don't know. I'm I mean, it's on fence. Max right now. Or yeah. if you're in the UK, it's in theaters right now. Oh, um, oh, thank you, you for writing in. Yes, yes thank, yes, you, thank you, you all. We appreciate in. it. We love you. And now we're going to go around the table and tell you whether or not you should watch tonight's movie, The Mephisto Waltz, mm -hmm. starting with not me because I was not here. I feel like we should start with you. I feel May, like all right, I feel know, like I, cloud. I feel like you should say based on our okay. assessment whether you would watch it or not. You're right. And then we tell you whether why I'm wrong. Uh, <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very good point, Holly. Very good point. Um. <sighs> Based on our conversation tonight, I would recommend that you watch this. I would. I am curious. So you want to watch this? I movie. want You're to watch this. You watch it. You're curious. Yes, you I am watch. recommending that I watch this yeah. at a certain okay. point, not tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> but I will. I would like to watch it because I would like clarification on a few things. Mm -hmm. Well, also, you're okay. It's, no, but, it, but, it's, but, it, but it's hard though because I also would not like clarification on a few things because I love this so much <laughs> that I want this to be in my memory of this movie <laughs> because that, let's put it this way, this movie cannot be as entertaining as what happened here tonight. I'm That's just, uh, true. Pr that, that is probably. True. That is true. Probably. So I think out of curiosity, one day I will get to this and I will watch it. And I will probably find a lot of it very interesting. Um, and I'm going to say uh, to you, dear Brailler, dear listener, that you should probably watch it too. Uh, I had fun just going through and guessing all of this stuff. Um, I think you'll find, uh, if you're listening now, you are a fan of the show and the things we watch. I think you'll like this. Uh, Alan Alda. Uh, Satan, body swapping, <laughs> <laughs> really uh, uh, the best doggos in the world, yeah. I think yeah. we'll say. Those yes, are good right? things. Those are good um, things. I think there's a lot of elements here that are ju will just draw you into it. Um, again, uh, as one of our listeners wrote in, he's like, if you told me Alan Alda was in a horror movie, I'd be like, ah, oh, I agree. I'm just like, oh, Alan, Alan Alda was in a horror movie. It's like, oh, I want to watch that. I mean, that is maybe the basic line to get you into it. So if you know Alan Alda at all. So uh, I'll recommend it based on nothing. <laughs> based on this here tonight. And I think uh, you should watch it, too. I think you'll enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Let's all let's all do it together <laughs> in a future moment. <laughs> but yes, I will recommend the Mephisto Waltz. Uh, uh, yeah, I think uh, yeah. What can, I, I have nothing to lose at this point. I recommend. Holly, what do you think? <laughs> um, a wonderful experiment, I will say. Right, I thought this was fun. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, when you say you wouldn't think that Alan Alda would be in a horror movie, I would say he's not in a yeah. horror movie. Same. <laughs> Same. <laughs> he still isn't. Yeah. He's still not in a horror movie that I know of. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, this. Uh, it definitely has that slow '70s burn to it. Um, yeah. Which is great about not watching the movie because I feel like I got all the best parts. <laughs> you did. Without having to sit through a two-hour movie. Yeah. Thank you, everyone here. I mean, we do. We hour do and love. Minutes or an hour. No, and, it's like it's two. Like, it's almost two. Uh, no, it's uh, an hour and uh, fifty-five minutes. Yeah. I so can't even see. it feels longer. Oh, it's yeah. One hundred eight. Yeah. Okay. One forty-eight. One forty-eight. Mm -hmm. Jesus, it feels longer. Yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> um, I do appreciate the seventies stank of this movie. The style is very cool. Um, the the opening credits is it, it's a very cool sequence. Um, so there, there's some things about it that we like, that we like that 70s nostalgia feel. We like a 70s swingers party. Yeah. I mean, that's oh, a yeah. fun time. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. So there are. Especially in a mansion. Yes. And so so there are elements of this movie that that we enjoyed. Um, I think we like the concept of it. We like the concept of like the Satan worshiping and everything. Um, but it doesn't. There's not enough of it. There's two it's, hours of it, Holly. How it, could not be enough? There's, there's not. There's a lot of, there's a lot of plot figure eights happening. Like we, it was very hard to follow a lot of the time. We didn't understand why things were happening a lot of the time. Um, yeah, the 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 storyline is 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 not very clear. It's not very concise, and it's boring most of the time. I was falling asleep several times. Um, yeah, I, I'm not going to recommend this movie. I, I wanted to like it. I, I like the premise. I like the idea of like the 
like the get out style, like body takeover kind of situation. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. I thought it was going to be very cool. I like the idea. I mean, I, you know, I love me a Satan cult. Love it. Mm-hmm. I'm here for it. I love a 70s Satan worshiping movie. Fantastic. But we don't really get that. We just get like the essence of like, oh, this is how we do it. It's more like methodical. It's more like this is how we do. It. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's more like, oh, that, this is. That was playing during the orgy in the mansion. It was. Party, yeah. Just in the background. Yeah, it's it's just more like this is the formula we use to do what we do. Like it wasn't it wasn't very like Satan worshipy, which is what I wanted. Mm-hmm. Um, so no, I'm gonna say pass on this. I thought it was kind of boring. Not not a big fan. Um, Sean, you got the best version of it. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it. Yeah. Believe so it. I'm I'm gonna pass on uh, what did we watch? The Mephisto, the Mephisto And again, like you're, I'm not gonna remember that because they say it like one time in right. the movie. Right. Needs a okay. And, needs a better title. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Needs a better title. I like I like why they named it that, but they didn't. Right. They didn't it, put enough emphasis on it. Right. It makes sense when watching the movie, but to draw people in, I don't think it does. Yeah. It sounds satanic. It yeah. does, and like I, I don't, if I understand you, if why. You understand what yeah. Mephisto means? Otherwise, it's nothing. Well, that's they, the problem, they could have I just called it Satan's us. Waltz. Yeah, Satan's <laughs> Waltz. Because I think they say the the actual music, right? It's supposed yeah. to be like Satan dancing with his mm-hmm. paramour, and it's sure. like, well, yeah. it's kind of with you know. It should have been called Satan's Waltz. Great. Mm-hmm. If any of that, right? Well, if any of that came across in Mephisto but, Waltz, then I'd be yeah. in. But it doesn't. No. You sometimes you have to like go for the very obvious. Yeah. Just call it Satan's mm-hmm. Waltz. Yeah. What do you got to do? See, I guess to me that is obvious. It's a misfisto, but you know you have a lot backing. Uh, yeah, that up, maybe though, that's in which you yeah. and why you know that. But yeah, I'm I'm gonna pass on it. Michaela, what do you think? Yeah, I I was thinking of when we were watching. I was like, this does remind me of Get Out, and it also reminds me of the Skeleton Key. Mm-hmm. Uh, spoilers, I guess, for Skeleton Key. But yeah, um, spoilers, spoilers. Uh, spoilers. Uh, it's older than Get Out, I guess. So spoilers for both. <laughs> we did, like, a movie we, that rocked me so we much. Cover I went that? From, yeah. We did do we it. Did. Yeah, we a movie it. that rocked me so much. I went from hating it in the entire way. To a realization in our review and being like, I love this movie. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, because it was shocking. <laughs> like, great. what? That sucks. <laughs> no, it, no, no. It was, it was more like a, like somebody said something. I'm just like, oh, oh, <laughs> and then unlocked it right there. Yeah, yeah but yeah. like especially in the skeleton key, they're older people looking for younger people to continue on, and they're yes. looking for the smoking is a big theme in that mm-hmm. movie too. And right. so I do want to know. Like, has Jordan Peele seen this movie? Has yes. the skeleton key people seen this movie? Because, mm-hmm. I mean, I feel like a lot, the the one-to-one comparison a lot with Get Out is the Stepford Wives, and that's, like, the obvious one. But right. there's obviously, like, a million different types of body-swapping movies, yeah. right? So, I, I mean, it's always a concept that is interesting and makes for usually a compelling movie. But this is, I don't think this is a horror movie. I think it's a drama, and it's a lot of relationship drama. And, yeah, I agree. Figure eights is a good thing. It does, like, circle back on a lot of things. It being two hours, you really feel that length. It does not need to be this long. Uh, it's a cool story, but I need imagery with the Satan movie. You can't just talk about Satan. You gotta show me cool rituals, <laughs> cool imagery, like, we started going that way with the blue goo, and it never yeah, went further. I know. Great dog acting, though. Um, yeah, we need more howling too in this. Well, it's just like any, any, like the the devil rides out. That had everything I would want in a yeah. Satan movie. Even Eyes of Fire, we had exploding, yeah. exploding mm-hmm. mud Satanists. The devil yeah. literally rode out, and the devil rides yeah. out. And it was awesome. <laughs> so, um, that's more what I want. Like, I want the pageantry of Thomas made, Satanism. Thomas tapped, you know? The devil rode out. <laughs> yeah, I want the pageantry and the like, the glamour and the like look of satanic ritual. Like, um, so I'm gonna pass on it. But that being said, I am not outright offended, and I'm glad it's something I can like cross off my list if that makes sense. Yeah. So I'm gonna pass on it. Oh, Colin, what do you think? Um. I think the reason that nobody really remembers this movie is exactly that reason. You know, like I was sitting there going like, okay, well I'm going to, you know, tease this movie on our social media so people can comment on it. And I'm like, you're looking for a, uh, an image from the movie that you can kind of hinge on yeah, and kind of grab onto. Yeah. There are no set pieces. Uh-uh. I think no. that's the thing that that's missing from this. Uh, you know, right. I mean, yeah. the devil so does 100%. not appear all this week, right? Our social media is going to be pictures of, uh, Alan Alda <laughs> and Alan Jacqueline Bissett and, and stuff like just doing, you know, <laughs> Alan like, Alda reading a book. Yeah. Alan Alda playing a piano. It's not going to look yeah. that exciting. So you can't yeah. post a lot of pictures of the dog to keep it interesting. Yeah. yeah. We'll put pictures <laughs> um, I saw game. it because I think like I got this. Uh, it's a Midnight Movies double feature DVD. Is this uh, not on Blu-ray? It might be. I mean, it's streaming in HD. Okay. I don't know. 
Um, uh, but I, I guess that was the way that I came to it. It was like a blind buy. Uh-huh. And because uh, I had heard of it, and it, you know, it, the title, I guess, intrigued me because it sounds satanic. And so I'm like, okay, it's a, like a, one of these satanic thrillers. It's Dance with the Devil, basically. Yes. And then, you know, you watch it and you're like, well, this is, it's an intriguing, the story is fairly intriguing. And I guess the thing that I remember about it that kind of was a little bit shocking was the fact that this woman at the end of the movie is not so offended that her husband is dead. She is like, so like obsessed with this gotten the new guy that's in it. She doesn't care. Like, I'm like, is she a villain at this point? Like, do we still have the sympathy for her? Which I mean, we didn't really talk about it all that much, but she didn't like Duncan. Right. Like what she knew Duncan when he was alive. But she likes him in her husband's body. Right. Like she did not like him. Yeah. But now is in She's Alan like, body. I got to like, have yeah. this guy and I don't care what. And I will sell my soul to the devil. So there's also somebody right. that she That's has to lot. sacrifice yeah. at some point. Right. Like. Yeah. That's in the this bargain. There's like yeah. another uh, soul that has to go, you know. And um, I guess that to me was this like, contract wow. must have been hell to write up. Yeah. <laughs> I dug that like that. I don't know. I was like, wow, this movie is dark as fuck, you know. But when you watch it, it's like uh, it plays out like a TV movie. There's yeah. no uh, real it had the potential to, to be it. dark as fuck. I think there's mm-hmm. also um, you're ahead of some of the things that are happening. Mm-hmm. I mean, I guess I didn't have trouble following it. I'm like, OK, I know that, you know, the the, the witchcraft has switched the bodies and there's, you know, but it still felt like uh, it needed a little more pizzazz. To that end, though, I'll say that I liked uh, the performances. Uh, I thought the music's Jerry Goldsmith. I think we also have to uh, give some credit to uh, Fred Mustard Stewart, uh, who's the guy who wrote the book. Yeah. This is, this, so this was like... Fred Mustard Stewart. Yeah. Fred Mustard Stewart. Is that his middle because name or is that's, it Fred Mustard That's exactly... Stewart. There was no quotes in the credits. Right. <laughs> it was just Fred Why would Mustard you just Stewart. call yourself Fred Stewart at that point when you because, have mustard, mustard as a, matter, uh, as a middle Because mustard name. is memorable. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fred Mustard Stewart wrote the novel, uh, and it's still in print, I guess, because I looked it sure. up on Amazon. So people are still reading it. The Mephisto right. Waltz. I would recommend this movie uh, if you're... Um, you know, interested in like occult uh, cinema. Um, so there you go. I don't know. Is it two against and two for? And I'm for it's it. It's a split I'm, vote. I'm so for it. But the it's weakened by the fact that I have not seen this movie. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to take that. As, take it, uh, there you go. <laughs> I offer it to you. All right. Next week, we're going to watch a movie that's chosen by Sean. <sighs> what are we going to watch next week? What next, is your spooky pick? Next week, it is the spooky season, and the spooky things are after us. So I yes. need you all to hop on your horses, yes. ride like hell towards the bridge, but don't look back, <gasps> because the Headless Horseman might get you. <gasps> We're awesome. going to watch Sleepy Hollow. Yes! The, yes! The best Tim Burton movie? My we will discuss favorite. that okay. next week. Right. <laughs> but it's up there. And it needs to be watched and talked this about. We're watching Halloween Sleepy movie. Hollow. Yes. There we go. Okay. All right. So Sleepy Hollow next week on the Saturday Night Freak Show. We hope you'll join us. And until then, ladies and germs, the basement is going dark. <laughs>